Dear Journal, it's been almost a month since I've last heard from my dear friend Andy. I've left messages on his voicemail, called him many times, texted him, emailed him, but still, I've not gotten any responses. I'm getting kind of concerned, so I'm going to take the three-hour trip north to see how he's doing. Come in! Andy? Are you okay? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get a hold of you. I left a message on your voicemail, I called, and you no answer. Andy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What did you just take? Andy! I didn't take They took something from me. Who, who took what from you? The stupid Atari. The what? The Atari Jaguar. Jaguar, are you saying the stupid thing? Okay, okay, man. It's okay, man. Calm down. Look, it's just a video. Andy, no! Stop taking the pill! Get it out! Get it out! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you do not need pills for that. Okay, I'll buy you a new Atari, okay? Come on. Do no, I hate it! You know what they did? What? They took every ounce of humanity I had and they threw it away. All away! Okay, okay. Just calm down. Stupid console! People laughing online at me. I'm just trying to make a stupid show and they just. I don't know. Get, tell them to go away! Andy, the people on the internet, they're not, they're, they're not, I mean, yeah, they're real people, but they're not real, real people. They're not, like, in here. You and me, we're real people. We're, we're having a conversation right now, okay? This is good. Talk I don't know what's you. real anymore. Are you real? Are you my imagination? I'm not your imagination, and if I were, I'm the good part of your imagination, not the bad part. The bad part is what's taking those pills. What I don't understand, Jake, what are you doing out here so late at night? What, what do you mean at night? It's, Daytime. Look out that window. It is dark. It looks like daylight to me. See what I mean? I don't oh, know what's real and what's not. Anyway, we don't need that. Now come on, man. come on. Let's let's get you like no, no more pills. No more pills. This is Valium. What the heck? What am I supposed to take? Okay. You gonna zoll off or something? What what what, what do you want? Who who is it that took your? Stupid Jaguar! I want peace back in my life. It was a big mistake. I did four videos back to back on it. Back to back! Your doctor said no more than two. I know what he said! I just dared! Oh gosh. I had to get ahead of everyone else that does these stupid things! Okay, we gotta call 911 right now. This is bad. Do you have an idea for a game I could play? Maybe something that leaves it? <laughs> yeah, my friend just did four video game reviews on the Atari Jack. Jaguar, <laughs> whatever it's called, you, you, the, the Atari system that failed really bad in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, um, we're at 555 South 55th Street. Okay, please send an ambulance immediately, he's, uh, he's going to shock, he took a lot of Valium. Uh, I don't know, there's half a bottle gone, I see some other empty bottles <laughs> lying around, I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Andy, the ambulance is on its way, they'll be here soon, just hold on man, hold on. <laughs> episodes, much less anything after. I tried! I tried! It's all your fault! It's all your fault! Ah! Ah! Stupid game! It's all your fault! Stupid video game! Good games! Ah! I can't stand them at all! Nurse! Nurse! <sighs> oh. Flower is a unique game. It's made by That Game Company. No, really, that's, that's the name of the company that made it. That Game Company. I mean, that's the best they could come up with. If I were them, I'd talk to their marketing guys or something, because that's, that's just not cutting the mustard around here.
The game is meant to tell a story through the use of emotion. In this case, the story is of how humanity has lost its way from nature. While the game didn't speak emotionally to me, I did find it kind of fun to play. The game is played with motion-based controls on the PlayStation 3 controller. The only button you have to push is 1, and this controls the force of wind behind you. If you don't push it, your pedal on the wind stops still. The object of the game is that you start by choosing a flower that is sitting in someone's apartment. The game then shows you the story of that flower and how it came to be. You first start off as a pedal floating on the wind, and you pick up more along the way. To progress in each level, you have to pick up selected flower petals, and it unlocks more areas to explore. Some petals color the ground beneath you, and others light the way in a very dark environment. There are no enemies per se except electricity, which you must shut off before going into certain areas, or else the flower petals will smoke a little bit. The controls are very nice, but the motion control could be a little tighter for my liking. The graphics are very well done, and are the best strong point for this title. The lush grass and dark backdrops clash very well, and the motion is very fluid with no frame drops. The downside of this title is that it's really easy to finish. There just aren't enough levels and puzzles to keep you interested for very long. The price for me was just a little on the high side at $9.99. Well, this won't break the bank, it just doesn't feel right. $6.99 would be a better price for this title. All in all, it's a good game if you're looking for something to spend your time with or if you know someone who likes these types of games. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, is your phone ringing? No, nope, I don't hear anything. You, you don't hear that music? No, what music? And are you hearing stuff again? No, you don't hear that music. You've been taking your pills they gave you? I think it's in the walls. What? You don't hear the music? I don't hear any music, Andy. You don't hear the music? Andy? You will hear the music? I don't hear the music! <laughs>